Hey everybody, I just wanted to come on here briefly and say how much I loved that Zainab posted <laughs> about the frozen Joe Biden today because I was going to repost Amanda's <laughs> post and I was like, what on earth is going on here, people? Right? I don't understand, right? I mean, he is literally frozen. Right, and this is not the first time we've seen him frozen, okay? I mean, I don't understand why anybody thinks <laughs> it's less risky to put a clearly declining 81-year-old in office over another clearly declining close to 81-year-old person, right? They're both... <laughs> huge problems and what's worse is there's nobody on the bench right look at Kamala Harris and don't even get me started on Billy Porter what the fuck that dude I just read this morning I just happened to see him and I looked up something about him and he said that America is a white supremacist country. That's the problem with this country. If that's the problem with this country, <laughs> then how come he openly supports Israel's war on Gaza when Israel is in white supremacist state just like the United States? This is the problem, people. I don't get that, right? The Holocaust wanted to achieve the elimination of Jewish people from Europe. Well, the Israeli state also wanted to remove the Jewish people from Europe, right? So guess what? That's called complementary that's spelled c o m p l e m e n t a r y meaning those two goals work together people here's the other reason Israel is a white supremacist state because Jewish people of European ancestry are white and Jewish people of all other ancestry are not. And so guess who's favored in the Israeli state? That's right, white Jewish people, light-skinned Jewish people, right? And here's the third piece I just want to share people, okay? And then I've got a lot of work to do, okay? I've got my Duolingo practice, Japanese. That's not work, it's pleasure. I've got my advanced Spanish Duolingo practice. That's not work, <laughs> it's pleasure. And then I get to practice my sight reading because I'm working on my pi, pi, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm working on my piano playing. I did play the alto saxophone for seven or eight years in my younger days. The music is in me, people. Third reason, are you ready, my friends? Third reason, Israel is a white supremacist state. Some of you might understand out there that we had a thing in this country, the Union States of America called segregation where what's that, my friends? White people and black people did not have access to the same facilities, did not have access to the same resources, right? Water fountains. Some of you might not have ever been taught this in school, which is a crying shame, but I'm here. Sean MP, the nutty professor, Zen Buddhist master, I'm here to teach you, my friends, what I've learned. Okay, it's a golden rule.
Actually, it's pay it forward. That's what I was thinking. It's pay it forward. I'm paying it forward. Black people and white people in the United States of America, that's the official name for this country, which I call the United States of America, they couldn't use the same water fountains. So if you think about this in terms of Israel and Palestine, Israelis and Palestinians, Israelis and Palestinians don't have the same access to land, to water, to resources, to international recognition, to weapons, to finances, right? They don't have access to the same anything, right? That's called segregation. As I stated earlier, it was outlawed in this country, the United States of America. It was outlawed in South Africa, where it took the most prominent form under the name of apartheid. Some people say apartheid. Does it make a difference? As far as I'm concerned, it's the meaning. Legal segregation ended there. So I don't understand why everybody seems to think that legal segregation isn't going to end in Israel, Palestine. Why would it? We've seen it happen in the United States. We've seen it happen in South Africa. Why won't it happen in Israel, Palestine? It will happen. And that's why I think what we're seeing is much like what we're seeing in the mainstream political establishment here, is that we have a bunch of people, I'm talking about the executive class of the governments of this country and Israel, as well as the executive class of the governments of all of the countries. Um, Because remember, it's the United Nations that also is at fault here for not enforcing their own information, you know? Their own fucking resolutions, their own fucking rule of law. But of course, the United Nations is nothing without the nations behind it. Anyway, my point is, is that we have a bunch of people who are so fucking attached to the way things are. I'd swear it was codependency. <laughs> but what do I know? I got out of my codependent relationship five years ago and I've never, ever been better. And as for George Clooney and Julia Roberts, who I revere, both of them, and both of them know that. Listen, they have their own game that they're playing, okay? I don't know why they're propping up Biden. Who the fuck knows, you know? But if they're going to allow me to express my opinions, then of course I'm going to allow them to express their opinions. That's actually how it's supposed to work in a democracy, right? It's not supposed to be that um, a bunch of people come together to express their opinions, namely the students who came together over the past, past couple of months, only to be confronted by terrorist tactics, right? Funded by people like Jessica Seinfeld, right? Putting up audio visual walls, right? That's a terrorist tactic. Right? It's also deeply, deeply, deeply traumatizing to people to watch that violence on screen. Right? And so again, I say we are living in such a fucked up, twisted world that I'm so glad that I know
so little. But the things I do know about, I know a ton. And it would be fantastic if somebody anywhere with a straight face can deliver the argument for why a clearly incompetent physically and mentally president should be given four more years in office. I don't know why it hasn't come out yet. Right? It's like everybody's dancing around the fact, except for who? Black women. Not all black women, right? Because just like not all Jewish people are the same, that all black people are the same. And guess what, motherfuckers? Not all white people are the same. Some of us are like, we get it, my friends. <laughs> we get it, right? And by the way, while we're at it, also fuck Kathy Griffin. You know, bullshit, right? I mean, this is a mess of her own, right? She apologized. That photo was ridiculous fucking piece of art garbage number one number two she apologized for it and then she took it back and then she said she was badly advised at the time right and then i'm on her now right because her whole shtick was roasting other celebrities so let me roast fucking kathy griffin right i see her on fucking here Right, talking about, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that Trump was convicted in 34 counts. I just feel so good. Although I thought I was going to feel better than I did now. And I actually almost didn't feel anything. But I still feel good because it shows that people are still being held accountable. And I'm like, this is exactly the problem. Trump is being held accountable for a hush money payment which is about as basic a tactic in presidential elections as there is, number one. Number two, he's not being held accountable for what he allegedly did to Kathy Griffin, which as far as I can tell, made it a little bit more inconvenient for Kathy to fly because she had to wait a little bit longer. You know, it would be so difficult to be on the no-fly list for real right because then you actually wouldn't be able to fly kathy and then she says oh don't listen to the people who say that there's no difference between trump and biden well guess what people i have a phd kathy griffin doesn't (laughs) and i say there's no difference between biden and trump And I'm not the only one. (laughs) And I've been saying it for years, so. Right? How many signs do you need, my friends? When is it enough, right? Death by a thousand cuts? We talk about Trump being Teflon Don. How is Biden still around? Right? Boggles the mind. Except you would have to go back to how the presidential election cycle in 2020 was rigged for Biden to win. Remember when South Carolina suddenly fell into line conveniently? It's a shame. It's a shame what they've done to the education system in this country. But don't worry, my friends. 
I'm back and better than ever. And you've ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Arthur and I are back together, baby. And everybody knows he lights my fire. You think I'm boring? How the fuck do you spell mojito?